Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, July 24th, 2024. Nice 24s there. This is Chief Meteorologist John Innsworth for Longmont Public Media. Saturday the 27th will be our third quarter moon. You're going to have to go out after midnight to see it or look at in the early morning. The sun is still very active. Sunspots stretching across our face of the sun. Nothing huge right now, but uh, we could have a... Uh, CME hit, coronal mass ejection tonight, Wednesday, and give some aurora. I just don't know where <coughs> or if it could happen. The uh, drought um, product did not update, so nothing new to talk about except that at the latest, we still under severe drought on the eastern side of Boulder County and northern Larimer. Same thing nationwide, nothing from, different from last week. This time I got an animation for smoke because that's becoming the big story, that and the heat. And so we've got fires up the west coast and up into western Canada. And with the high to our west, it's just circulating it around. And I'll put a little hand here right where Longmont is. You can just see there's a lot of smoke invading most of the nation, except the southeast, where the easterlies are bringing tropical air in there and giving them rain and everything. So, yep, nasty. So we have an air quality alert. If you have uh, apps doing weather alerts, <coughs> then it's um, kind of every 12 or 6 hours they're going ding, 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 and we got air quality. I'm still running and, and biking, though. Uh, from Weather 5280, great site to check out. Great discussions there as well. Uh, pretty heavy, moderate to heavy smoke. Through Wednesday decreasing on Thursday and things should be a little lighter on Friday, Saturday and also get some of the uh, precipitation chances in. <coughs> Over the last seven days, uh, a little better rainfall totals. We had a great thunderstorm go through Longmont. We had 0.66 uh, inches of or inch of rain uh, from that one. We had pea-sized hail that night. It was great. I said it was Saturday night. Looking at severe weather, they never put a watch out on that, but they put warnings out on that storm. Here we are going through May and June. You can see the peak is right about there. As we go through July, the severe chances do back off. The first week of August, the uh, severe chances are decreasing nationwide. The actual severe chances, Southern Arizona, up here in Pennsylvania, New York. Um, just a little chance of thunderstorms mainly to the west. Okay, so I don't know what that is. Thank you. <coughs> um, so just what you need in the middle of the show is the Mac needing permission. Uh, so we got the chance of uh, some convection in the mountains, and but that's it. Taking a look at Thursday, it moves a little further to the western half, skipping the I-25 folks. And then storm chances come back with nothing severe on Friday. Okay, Wednesday p.m. We do have some chance of thunderstorms basically west of us. Let's see if I can get this to work. The actual radar at this time, yeah, we got live radar for Wednesday, that's it for the week. Um, you can see that kind of south traveling little convective cells. There's one near Estes Park at the time of recording out here all this stuff is bugs and cumulus clouds and like that so yeah the wsr 88d can pick up insects being uh spread out and converging in different places like here across rogan rogan whatever that is um yeah just interesting to show a live radar for this one let me get back to our presentation for wednesday and then thursday it's way out west friday chance of thunderstorms returns for at least the i-25 folks in the mountains so temperatures are going to be pretty toasty peaking off the top here this um the ensembles never really get the extremes well so we will see some hundreds over the next week not just 92s and 94s. Here's our weekend chance of Thursday, uh, Friday, Saturday storms. Well, I guess that's Thursday right there. But Friday, Saturday is the best. Um, currently, the atmospheric moisture is west of us. 
there's a little bit of moisture lingering over the mountains. You can see the pink dot is about where Longmont is, or right on the edge of it. So if you're out on Wednesday, look west, you, you'll see buildups over the mountains, and the radar showed that as well. So let's put this into motion for the 500 millibar upper air flow. This big closed circle here, and then which becomes a big kind of ridge along there, is what's responsible for all the heat. And it breaks down Friday, Saturday a little bit, and get westerly flow. <clears throat> and then you can see the, the high center regroups over southern Arizona and New Mexico, and then expands up by Tuesday, Wednesday next week to basically be on the New Mexico Colorado border. And that just means heat. The heat will just keep on going. This ridge builds more. Now the center is over northern Colorado and then up into Wyoming. Um, we are under the, a mountain of extra air that's sinking, compressing, and heating. And that's what you got. So we should see that in the temperatures. Those little blobs that show up in the afternoon are the afternoon thunderstorms cooling locations right there. And then after that, the cool air kind of mixes out. There's our Friday storms. There's our Saturday storms. And then, yeah, it starts to heat up. <coughs> I don't know why I got a frog in my throat today. I guess it's the smoke and dust. So, yep, the heat really starts to build in the west. As we get into Wednesday, into August 1st. Heat, heat, heat. Yep, very hot there. And uh, it just continues on August 3rd and like that. Some thunderstorms return, but overall it's going to be very hot. Let's look at the uh, precipitable water. It's bone dry east of the Continental Divide. Then into Thursday, then into Friday, the moisture does make it over into the eastern half, and this gives us our storms for Saturday, Friday and Saturday. And then Sunday is just bone dry. Look at that. Brown, dark brown, dry atmosphere. Way below normal amounts of moisture. Just you're not going to see anything. There are probably no clouds. I mean, it's just going to be hot and clear and smoky. Let's look at surface dew points. They start out pretty low, 30s and 40s. As we get into the weekend, Friday and Saturday, right there, you can see we get 50s. Dew points make it in from the south just for a couple days. There's 57, so it's almost 60, and then boom! The blue, super dry surface dew point stuff takes over for the beginning of next week. Uh, if you have an evaporative cooler, it's really going to work well at the beginning and middle of next week. Um, near the end of next week, some moisture returns, but the dry air isn't too far away, and it's not really extreme until like Friday night, get 50s briefly. So yeah, not, not a great time for widespread rain. Let's take a look at <coughs> the future radar. You can see Thursday night, not much, but mountain stuff. Then Friday, do get a good line of thunderstorms. They don't seem to go very far. Saturday, it sweeps across the state and then dies off to our east. It's just not the normal stuff you see. You see storms just go all the way into Oklahoma and beyond. And then into Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, it's just absolutely dry. Just nothing. Else. There's some mountain stuff on the western slopes for Wednesday, Thursday, south central mountains, southwest Colorado. And in the next weekend, yep, some storms, but dry is the theme. So over the next five days, yep, stuff, a little bit of stuff might hit I-25 here. Colorado Springs might get a little bit more, quarter inch or close to a half inch, but western slopes get some, higher mountains get better, eastern plains not much. For the next 10 days, eastern plains are still dry and crispy, and the mountains pick up a little more water. So Wednesday, 95. Thursday, we break 100 again. I think this is our second, maybe third. I'd have to look up the statistics on that. I forgot to do that beforehand. Small chance of storms. Friday and Saturday, much better chance of storms, and we cool the lower 90s. Remember, normal is 90 right now. I didn't see that graphic go by. Um, yeah, we went from a normal high 90 to 89 back on the... Um, ensemble map and the nighttime temperatures expected are still level at 60 through this 10-day period. Next week we really start warming up again by Tuesday. We're breaking 100 again if not Monday. It could, certainly could be Monday as well. 
August is about to hit, so take a look at the weather service. They've been pretty good about the heat. We are just supposed to stay in it for August and in the dry conditions for August. All right, this is Chief Meteorologist John Insworth urging you to keep looking up.